Hello guys, welcome to GM Entertainment. This is Guys Dale with yet another video tutorial on unlocking a Huawei MiFi. Uh, so today's tutorial, we're going to unlock the Huawei E5573 S606 model, uh, which is usually locked to Zamtel. If you are from Zambia, yeah, this MiFi is usually locked to Zamtel, but uh, it's already unlocked and I'm only using it for your learning purposes as you can see it's already unlocked and it supports uh, the MTN SIM card yeah so I'm going to show you how to unlock it so that it supports all the, uh, all the networks that is MTN, Zamtel, uh, Airtel and Liquid Telecom yeah so let's get down to it uh, files I'll leave the link in the description so make sure you check them out yeah so the first thing you do is uh, install the drivers I already have them installed so I won't be installing them in this video tutorial but yeah you can install the, uh, the, the, the drivers in the way they are listed install one install two and install three yeah uh, then disassemble the MiFi. So disassembling the MiFi simply means uh, unlocking the screw, unscrewing it. Yeah, unscrewing it so that it looks like this. Okay. Yeah. Once it's disassembled, bah, now we get to the unlocking process. And the first thing we do is bootshot the MiFi. So bootshotting the MiFi is simply connecting a tweezer or a wire connecting it uh, at this particular point and this point here connecting them together then plugging in the cable uh, once you hear the beep you can remove the wire you can remove the wire uh, then uh, open balloon to so balloon to balloon so open Balong 2 uh, once you launch Balong 2 uh, click detect uh, it should bring you the MiFi if the MiFi is booted so, so yeah uh, let me open up device manager real quick see if uh, the com uh, the com port is showing and, uh, under port oh, okay so this port that's showing on the under device manager the same port we're expecting to see oh okay now it's visible uh yeah so that's the same port you expect uh, expecting to see the first file you load is the usb loader file that's the first file you load using balloon to click load wait for it to complete uh, it will bring something like not responding don't worry about it it's doing its magic in the background just sit tight and hang in there so it's done once it's done you hear the sound and uh, two green flashlights will start blinking so you can unplug the usb then boot it up again um, the boot shot in again click detect then load the usb safe file uh, after loading the usb safe file you'll be installed uh, installing the firmware so for the, the reason why i've decided to make the the video for uh, this video for the 606 is that most of the firmware is that uh, on the internet most of them uh, usually uh, bring, uh, bring that uh, uh, a single green light after flashing them. Like the MiFi gets stuck with a single uh, green light flashing. It doesn't even flash. The, the green light doesn't blink. It just goes with one green light when you turn it on. So I took it upon myself to find the firmware that actually works. And yeah, good news, I found it and I'll leave the link in the description. So balloon 2 is done with its magic. Yeah, 
it's done with its magic you can extract this uh, firmware but i'm just going to run it from the zip folder run it install it mm, here beginning search so most of these uh, e5573 uh, my files the bootrotting methods are the same so if it's e5573s then the bootrotting is the same uh, for the e50 for the 156 the 856 and the 606 the bootrotting method is the same or just differs is the E5573 CS. If you have an, uh, an E5573S, the push shorting method differs from the current push shorting method we've been using. Yeah, that's one thing to note. So, as we are waiting for the firmware to upgrade, uh, let's just fast forward the process. Okay, so uh, it's done. Uh, when it brings up uh, begin to resume user info just open up uh, task manager then force shut down the uh, the updater yeah because it never like it takes long to complete that process and it's never successful yeah so after closing that uh, unplug the MiFi, boot short again they install the and it's basically supporting all networks immediately after uh, installing the web UI. So for uh, the, the, the file the, the save file the, or the loader file that to load when installing uh, installing a web interface is the same 55 uh, USB safe file. So just click load. Yeah. Then open up your interface. Basically, we done. We done. We done. We done. Yeah. 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 This is good, man. This is good. So after this process is done, the MiFi will be supporting all networks. We have Telenor, Zone, Airtel India, Airtel Zambia, MT Zambia, MT India, MT Nigeria, all the networks, bro, all the networks. Uh, and this is one of my favorite web interfaces, the the Huawei dashboard that has. Uh, 5G support actually, <laughs> yeah, for the Willa, yeah, it supports 5G, it has a 5G uh, band support for Willa access, basically wireless access, yep, let me fast forward this one, I'll be right back, okay, so we are back and it's almost done, uh, and it's done it's done it's done it's done it's done so we can close everything now uh, unplug is it a sim card that wasn't supported at first turn it on and plug it in okay i'll just wait for it to load Hmm, 10 minutes. In under 10 minutes, we've managed to unlock this MiFi. Wow. That's nice. Uh, you can also check out the, my other videos on the same Huawei MiFi's. I did the 609, the one that's locked to MTN, the 856, the one that's locked to Liquid, the 156, the one which is locked to MT, uh, Zamto and Airtel. Now I'm doing the 606. The one which is usually locked to Zamto only. Yeah. Mm, so as you can see, wait for the interface to load. Once the interface loads, 
you realize that the MyPy is successfully unlocked and ready to use any SIM card out there. Yep. MTA in Zambia. Nice. Thanks for watching YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate the love you've been showing me on YouTube. Appreciate the subscribers uh, that I've been getting, even though I haven't been uploading more, uh, mostly. Yeah, most of the time I haven't been uploading. I've been offline for a while now, but I think I'm back. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and share the videos. I'm your link. Um, do so hang in there stay tuned for more videos uh, with me I have about videos uh, videos to unlocking routers those are the next videos I'll be uploading I'll also be uploading uh, phone repair videos FRP uh, we'll updating firmware uh, bypassing iCloud uh, with signal and without signal yeah, the tools to use and uh, where, how to get them, the prices to pay for them, and whatnot. Everything will be shared right here on the channel. So feel free to subscribe so that you get notified each time I upload a video. Peace.